I'm Dr Julie Fletcher and I'm the research technician for the Citizen Phage project. So I started um, my first microbiology job at UCL with the Eastman Dental Institute and I was working on the bacteria that cause periodontal disease and looking at the types of communities that exist in the periodontal pocket which is a very mixed anaerobic microflora, so bacteria that are killed by oxygen. I also worked on a couple of clinical trials there for, for new treatments for periodontal disease. After, after completing my PhD I took a career break and then returned to science with the Daphne Jackson Trust Fellowship in 2017. I was looking at um, slow-release antibiotics and the potential for using them in treating diabetic foot infections. So I looked at the microflora of diabetic foot infections and I looked at the potential for using slow-release re antibiotic beads um, with a view to using those in treating patients with these infections. Um, when that post came to an end, I was looking for um, to, to carry on my microbiology journey and a position came up with the Temperton Lab Group working on the Citizen Phage project. So we'll have a, um, we'll prepare plates with the lawn of our bacteria, our host bacteria, and we add a small drop of our um, enriched filtrate to that. And if there's any phage there, they will infect the bacteria, cause them to burst, and you end up with a clear patch um, in your lawn of bacteria, so a, a clear zone where no bacteria have been able to grow. If we get one of those plaques, which is very exciting, we then take a plug off the agar and put that through um, two rounds of purification. Um, the aim of that is to get um, a single phage of just one type, because it may be that we've got two different types of phage there. Then the next step would be to extract the DNA from that. So we bulk up and we grow a large amount of the phage and we precipitate it out and extract the DNA and sequence it. And we find out what type of phage it is, what properties it has. And we also send a sample for transmission electron microscopy, um, which gives us an image of the phage, and that helps us identify what, what type of phage it is and what family it belongs to. So if, if we find a phage, um, we would contact the original phage hunter, and we would ask them to name their phage, and they would get an image of their phage and, and the name that they give it, that's, that's forever, that's that phage forever name. I think what's really exciting is, is seeing that phage cause that plaque on the plate and seeing that big hole in the bacterial lawn and, and knowing that you've got something there can just knock the bacteria out. Um, also I think what's really exciting is, is poten the potential for it to be um, perhaps a fairly short journey from, from pond to patient. So from where we get a water sample into the lab, we filter it, we find a phage, um, and we have this library that potentially um, can be used to treat patients with infections that there's no other options for.